With a high cost of living and increased grocery prices, an annual Beansville food drive cannot come at a better time. The organization's goal this year is to collect at least 30,000 pounds of food to restock shelves in the agency's warehouse. Julie Sharp joins us live now with more. Julie. Thanks, Adam. I can tell you that the Community Care of West Niagara is working hard to meet its goal. Today I saw about 150 volunteers, young and old, enjoying themselves while gathering and sorting through donations. For the last 35 years, Community Care of West Niagara has been collaborating with the Beamsville and District Lions Club for its annual food drive. This year it was held at Great Lakes Christian High School. Organizer Linda O'Donnell says they started collecting donations off people's doorsteps as early as 8 this morning from Lincoln, Beamsville, Jordan and Camden. We have about 30 road crews um, including uh, groups around the community like Ivy Lodge and church groups and the firefighters plus local residents go out and pick up off the doorsteps. Once the donations are collected they are unloaded, sorted and then shipped out to the warehouse. Among those volunteering today were a few employees from the Beamsville Sobeys. Honestly, it feels fantastic. Like I said, they do such amazing work for the community and uh, it's just great to be able to help them out however we can. It's awesome to see everybody coming out to serve and support. Local Sobeys manager Devin Travis says the store has been collecting donations all week. He also says there's been a spike in the need for donations. We had a full van load, plus uh, we loaded up a pickup truck as well. There's definitely more of a need and um, we are definitely giving back a lot more um, in the last year than we ever have. The organizer told me today that she has noticed an increase in the amount of donations that are past their best before date. I think people just are trying to do anything they can. Now on the good side, we can go through all that expired food and we do have a window where expired today does not mean blow up tomorrow. Earlier this month, Food Ontario reported that over 1 million Ontarians visited a food bank last year. O'Donnell says she has seen a 35% increase at her organization. Um, well, I can tell you that the, the amount of food room visits we had in 2023, we surpassed that about two weeks ago. Um, I think we're at about 700 plus unique visits. MPP Sam Osterhoff, who was out helping today, says the food drive will help a lot of people in the community. Just the cost of life means that you have to make sure there's enough uh, on the table and sometimes the thing that gets cut is actually the quality of food. So the way that the West uh, Niagara Community Care and this area is able to support that through community giving really can make a big difference in closing that gap. It's never too late to donate. Community Care of West Niagara accepts donations all year round. You can visit their website for drop-off locations.